there, groovy soul. What brings you to my doorstep in the moonlight? I have come to exercise the spirits in this house. My name is Father Delirious, and I want to banish the evil spirits. Oh wow, man, exercising spirits, that's some heavy stuff, but I gotta tell you, I think this place is pretty peaceful already. No need for any banishing, you know. The evil spirits will ruin your vibe. They will take your soul and suck it dry. We need to suck the spirits out of this building. Whoa, hold up. That's some intense talk, my friend. I'm all about good vibes and positive energy here, but I'm going to have to ask you to take your spirit sucking elsewhere. You I will show you what I'll suck. Hey there, groovy soul. What brings you to my humble nudist haven? Peace and love, man. The winds of change led me here. The trees blew breeze past my knees and told me to knock on this door. Far out, man. The winds are always whispering sweet nothings to those who listen. So tell me, what brings you here today, wanderer of the breezy past? I'm here to be enlightened by the shadows of your home. The shadows make me want to dive deep into the mind palace known as mankind. I'm just talking without thinking. Oh, I know, I know what to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what to do. I'm here to bring the trees inside. I'm here to smoke the trees. That's all. That's all I have. Oh man, like I respect your right to do your thing, but I can't allow smoking here. It's all about keeping the vibes clean and natural. You scummy. Damn. You ain't a hippie. Hey man, I'm here for the ducks. I'm here for the peace and love. And more importantly, I'm here for the cool vibes. Right on, dude. The ducks are always down for peace and love. Soak up the, the, those good vibes and let's ride the wave of grooviness. Maybe once we're inside, we can take our ducks, press them together. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> Whoa, hold up there, my friend. That's not really a groovy vibe we're about there. I think it's best we keep the ducks separate and respect each other's boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. I love this damn game. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hi there. Um, I have a problem with my bike. Uh, I've been walking for miles, and you're the first person to open the door. Can you let me use your phone? Oh, bummer about your bike, man. Unfortunately, I don't have a phone, but maybe we can figure out a way to fix it together. How about we grab some tools and get those good vibes flowing? Wait a minute. Why aren't you wearing clothes? Oh, man, sorry if that freaks you out. I'm all about... Embracing nature and feeling free. Now, I get that it's not for everyone. No worries, though. I'll it was just a question! It was just a damn question! I need, I need, I need new clothes. I need new clothes if we're going to talk to that person. All right, we're getting in this house this time. Hey there, groovy soul. What brings you to my door in such a fabulous attire? Let's celebrate the cosmic energy flowing through us with some rad dancing, shall we? The grass is green, brown, brown. I'm hoping that you lit me inside your house, inside of this town. <laughs> What, what, what does that mean? Ah, oh, the poetry of nature, man. I dig your vibes, but before I let you in, can you tell me your favorite flower? It's important for our cosmic connection. Chat, give me a flower. Give me a flower. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are my favorite. Now you know. Now let me in. That, that was that was that was that was so bad. That was terrible. He loved it! Right on! You're definitely speaking my language with those flower vibes. I can feel the energy flowing, my friend. Come on in and let's celebrate the cosmic connection. I can't wait to celebrate the cosmic connection with you. The sucking cosmic vibes throughout the universe. What? Well, sorry, man, but I'm not feeling the cosmic vibe with you. Maybe next time, dude. Keep spreading love and peace. Catch you on the flip side. Are you kidding? I was so close! I was so close! Why? What did I say that was wrong? Sucking cosmic vibes. Sucking cosmic. Sucking cosmic. Well, I'm a vampire. That's why I keep saying that I suck, all right? I'm a vampire. What do you expect? Hey, man, I'm here to sell you bananas. These are not ordinary bananas. These are bananas that take you through the cosmic universe. Whoa, bananas that take you through the cosmic universe? That's some far out stuff, man. Tell me more about these magical bananas. Well, the trick is, is you gotta eat these bananas in one single bite. 
and when he when he do, your world will be changed forever. Whoa, man, that sounds like quite an adventure. I'm totally down to give it a try. But before we go in this cosmic journey, can you assure me that those bananas are completely organic and free of any pesticides? Whoa, man, 100%. These bananas are completely organic and free of any pesticides. Get ready for the cosmic ride of your life. Right on, man. I'm totally vibing with your banana story. Come on in and let's embrace the cosmic ride together. Oh, yes. Remember, you have to eat the whole banana. In one bite. No, 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 no. Guess I'm a uh, unnatural dead now. Damn, I got some beautiful hair. Some beautiful, it's a beautiful hair. Rusty outrage. What in tarnation are you doing? Banging on my door in this ungodly hour. State your business quick or get out of here. Listen, sir, I apologize for intrusion on your property. I'm here to see if you can sell me some moonshine. Moonshine? Huh? Well, I reckon I might have a little something tucked away in the back. But before I consider selling to you, I gotta know if you can handle the strong stuff. Can you hold your liquor? Listen here, sir. I've been drinking since I was a baby. And I have never stopped drinking every day. I can hold my liquor. Can you? <laughs> Well, ain't that something? Looks like we might have ourselves a match made in liquor heaven. Come on in, but mind your manners and watch your step. The shines are waiting for you. I can't wait to taste your moonshine. Oh, God, he's probably going to de decline me. Oh, there we go. Well, ain't that a happy coincidence? I reckon drinking partner like you deserves a taste of my finest moonshine. Yeehaw, come on in. Let's have ourselves a good old time. Woo. Oh, oh my God, the moonshine is so delicious. <laughs> you dang city slickers! Walk around with an AK-47 on my back, what the hell? See, if I go here, this guy's gonna know who I am because they're neighbors. What the heck do you want, Rusty? Can't you see I'm trying to wallow in my misery here? Tommy, I've been looking at my window and I've seen you have been looking sad lately. What's going on? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Just shattered remains of my heart littering the deep barnyard. My sweet Daisy dumped me for a city slicker with fancier overalls. Life's just a rotten tomato sometimes, you know? Ah, uh, Tommy, that happens, man. Listen, you're gonna get over Daisy. You're gonna find a new flower in the field. I promise you. Well, ain't you just a ray of sunshine in a stormy sky? Maybe you're right. Maybe there's another cow out there for me. You know what? Come on in. What? Well, damn, that was easy. That was easy. Listen, you shouldn't invite people into your house, man. At least give me your digits. Oh. Oh, he was, uh... It, it, it was it was that type of invitation. Uh, okay, Tommy. All right. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Who might you be making such a fantastic interest into my humble abode? I'm Sakura, anime enthusiast and defender of all things kawaii. Kawaii. Yeah. What brings you here today? Hi, I'm with the Santa administration, and I am here to tell you that you have won a grade 10 Charizard. Oh my gosh, a grade 10 Charizard? That's like the ultimate dream come true. My heart is bursting with joy, but wait, don't leave me hanging. Tell me more about this amazing prize. This Charizard card is straight from the 90s. Pokemon, it's a, the, the legend, it's the most OP of cards. Overpriced of cards. No way, a Charizard for, uh, from the 90s. That's like a super rare treasure. It's a card that could totally make an opponent tremble in fear. I must have it. Where do I sign up to claim this legendary prize? In order to claim this legendary prize, Sakura, you need to sign it on the dotted line, but we need a pin. Can we go inside and find a pin? Kind sir, I would be absolutely honored to have you inside my otaku sanctuary. Please come in and we shall embark on a quest. Oh, it was so easy. So easy. Thank God Charizard in front of her face and she's she's in awe. Ooh, my senpai would never do this. How do, how do you say it? Ooh, 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 ooh. I can't do it. I can't do it, chat. I can't do it. Mr. East. Hey there. Welcome to the channel. What brings you to my humble abode? Let's dive into some fun adventures together. Yo, Mr. East, I'm here for a collab. I got the best YouTube video idea. It will g it will gain you millions of views. Hey, that sounds intriguing. I'm always up for new collaborations. Tell me more about this million view idea of yours. My idea is you get 100 people in a room with a vampire. And the last one to leave is the winner. Last one to leave in a body bag. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but the idea doesn't quite align with the content I create. Good luck with your endeavors. Damn it! 
Damn, I was just trying to get into a room with a hundred humans. That's all. What the hell? Oh no, the cops! No! What? What the hell? What the hell? Flying cops! Oh my God! It's Santa cop! What the? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Help! Police brutality! Police brutality! Police! Please! Please! Oh god! Oh god! No! No! What the hell do you think you're doing here? Half naked with bacon in your hand? Mind explaining yourself before I give you a one-way ticket to the loony bin? Listen sir, I can explain. I can explain. I sleepwalk. And... I just woke up, I'm just trying to get home now. I apologize. Sleepwalking, huh? Well, I don't buy it. You better have a damn good explanation for carrying bacon around like some kind of deranged carnivore. When I sleepwalk, I get hungry. And when I get hungry, I look for food. When I look for food, it's always bacon. All right, all right. Sleeping and snacking on bacon, I've heard crazier stories, but that doesn't explain why you're out here in the dead of night. Start talking before I slap you and cuss on you. When I sleepwalking, I explore randomly. I always somehow end up outside. I don't mean to be. I want to go home. Random exploration, huh? Well, if it's true, you better start heading home right now and stay put. And if I catch you sleepwalking around here again, I won't be so lenient now. Get lost. Thank you, sir. I'll go straight home right, right away. Right away. You better. And stay out of trouble. If I catch you pulling any more weird nocturnal stunts, you won't be able to sleepwalk your way out of it. Now get the hell out of here before I change my mind. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, yeah. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Don't make me regret this. Now get lost before I change my mind. Oh, my God. We got out of here. Bite. Bite. Oh! But my blood tastes like donuts! <laughs> I was behind you the time! The time! Flower headdress. So whoever whoever lives here is a gardener, which helps. It helps us start the conversation. Oh, his name's Bud. Whoa, dude. Is this some kind of culinary horror movie? I hope you're here to slice some tomatoes and not my head, man. Hi there. I'm here to teach you the ways of growing the largest tomatoes in a garden. Oh, dude, that sounds awesome. I've always... I'm always down for some tomato growing knowledge, but uh, are you sure you're not a CIA agent or something? I am a CIA agent, but don't let that scare you. I am also a professional gardener, and I want to teach you how to grow tomatoes. Whoa, 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 CIA, that's not cool, man. I'm just trying to grow my own tomatoes in peace. I think it's best if you kind of leave, dude. Damn it to hell. Okay, okay. Time for my other, my other plan. Hey there, man. What's buzzing? Need some greenery for your helmet garden? I'm here to buy the green herbs that are hidden in the back. Ah, uh, green herbs, huh? Well, I do have some special plants in the back, but it's not something I usually sell if you know what I mean. Come on, man. I heard yours is the best. You had the best bud in the lands. Please, I'm fiending. Sorry, man, but I can't help you out. I'm just a simple gardener. You know, maybe try your luck elsewhere. Take care of my dude. We, we need... We need to make a. We need to get a cell. We need to get a cell. That's why he's. That's why he was asking for the CIA. Hey man, what's grooving? Not gonna lie, you look like a lost party animal. What brings you to my humble herb sanctuary? Todd from down the street recommended me go to this house and ask for a bud. He says you have the great greenest, the greenest greenery in the lands. Oh, Todd sent you, huh? That old rascal. Well, I gotta admit, I do dabble in the greenery arts, but you gotta understand it's strictly a herbal garden, if you know what I mean, I'm saying. Nothing illegal here, man. I'm actually looking for the special greenery, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'm not sure I follow, man, but uh, this is strictly a gardening zone, you know? All about those organic plants. I can't really help you out with that. Sorry, best of luck. Uh, greenery quests, though. Damn it! Some barbecue happening over here? Some barbecue? I need clothes! Where the hell's the clothes at? <gasps> what? <laughs> what are the damn chances? What are the damn chances? Dude, what the heck? I don't know who you are, but you better get out of here before I call the cops. Seriously, wearing a hockey mask and showing up at my door like this? Not cool, bro. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm a show delirious. I'm a YouTuber. I wear a hockey mask. I'm Joe Delirious. God damn it, Joe Delirious. No! No, I'm H. Joe Delirious. 
<laughs> oh, okay, Mr. H. Oh, the, in this universe, H. Joe Delirious, YouTuber extraordinaire. Why are you showing up at my doorstep and couldn't you, like, wear a regular mask? The hockey mask thing is just kind of creepy. Come on, the hockey mask is part of my brand. Everybody loves it. What are you talking about? Look, Mr. YouTube sensation, I don't care about your brand or whatever. I don't feel comfortable with your whole mask persona, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Are you kidding? This is like the... This is like a different reality... A different reality delirious right here. Wait a minute, did we ever get into Grandma's house? Didn't. Grandma's still alive. Well, bless your heart, you certainly caught me off guard, my dear. Is it Halloween already, or do you just misplace your sense of fashion? Hello, Grandma Maud. I'm a YouTuber called H2O Delirious. I am here to um, record a vlog with you. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I can't help you with your vlog. I appreciate the offer, but I prefer to keep my personal life private. This damn hoochie! I'm going back to the drug dealer's house as, as, as the mask guy. Whoa, dude, killer costume, you scared the butt out of me. What brings you this by this late? Hey, um, I'm here to buy um, a special Lind. Whoa, man, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I'm just a gardener, not a dealer. Sorry, but I can't help you out. Damn it! Damn it! This is not getting any luck. No luck at all. Charles A. Boomer, what the hell do you want? Ain't you got nothing better to do than skulk around wearing that ridiculous mask? Get lost and leave me the hell alone. If you don't let me in your house, I am gonna stab you right here on the doorstep, right now, you old bastard. Get the hell away from my door, you psycho. I ain't letting no crazy person like you inside. <laughs> oh my god, it scared the shit out of him. I just wanted to see, that was a test. I wanted to see what would happen if you say something like off the top. By the way, once I knock on a door and they close the door on me, I can't knock on the door with the mask anymore. That's why I'm going to different houses. Soapy Soprano! Really? Whoa there, what's with the get up? You scared the living daylights out of me, pal. What can I do for you? I'm here to make a deal. To ask for a favor. Listen here, wise guy. I ain't in the business of making deals with no robbers. You better turn around. Nobody wants to talk to me? Nobody wants to talk to me? Like, what the hell? Hazel Rosewell. Well, 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 what's cracking, mass trickster? If you're selling me some killer jokes, step right up. But I hope you're not here to show off your hockey skills, because I'll be the one doing the roasting. I'm here to sell you scary cookies. Horror cookies. The scariest cookies in the lands, but they're delicious. Would you like to buy some? Oh, scary cookies, huh? Well, as long as they don't taste as frightful as your fashion choices, I might consider taking a bite. But be warned, if they aren't spectacular, I won't hesitate to haunt you with my words. Listen, my cookies are the scariest cookies, but they are top of the line delicious. If you would like a couple boxes. Oh, honey, if I wanted something scary and disappointing, I'll just look at a mirror after a night of eating those cookies. <laughs> I'll pass on the frightful treats, but keep hustling. Maybe someone with lower standards will bite. Oh my God. That's why her last name is Roastwell. She's a roaster. Hazel. One bite of my cookies is to die for, I promise you. Well, I gotta say, your confidence is scarier than any cookie you could bake. Fine, I'll give your deadly treats a shot, but if they don't live up to their deathly reputations, you owe me a real good laugh. If my cookies don't kill your hunger needs, then I will tell you the best joke you have ever heard in your life. Now we're talking, if your cookies can't slay my hunger and you got a joke up your sleeve that's funnier than the outfit, I'll gladly let you in and impress me, my scary cookie friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get this cookie feasting started. Lead the way, Hazel. Well, 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 looks like you've convinced me. I'll lead you to the feast, but remember, the, if those cookies disappoint, you'll be the punchline of all my jokes. Follow me if you dare, cookie connoisseur. I'm following right behind you. I've got to hand it to you, mass cookie merchant. You've won me over. Step right in and let the gastronomic games begin. I was behind you the whole time! <laughs> I've had a better neck espresso. You didn't like my cookies? You didn't like my cookies? I didn't like my cookies at all. Well, this is certainly a peculiar sight to encounter on my doorstep. May I ask what brings you here at such an hour? Hi, I work for the plunger government, and I heard that one of your bathrooms is massively clogged. 
I can't talk. The, the plunge government. Excuse me? I assure you there are no plumbing issues in this house. Kind of leave my property immediately. Hi, right, I would like to speak to your manager. Oh dear, it seems you've mistaken the situation. I am the manager here, and I can assure you that I am more than capable of... Oh shit! <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? You caught me at an inconvenient time, but go ahead and spill your beans. I'm listening. Dr. Vicky, I need your help. <coughs> I'm sick. My stomach hurts. I got a fever. My toe has a bruise on it. I don't know what to do. Mm, seems like quite the laundry of list of symptoms you got there. Can you be more specific or are you just trying to waste my time? Vicky, I think I'm dying and I think you're the only one that can help me. Please, please help me. Enough with the theatrics. I'm on to you. You think I'm some kind of miracle worker? Get out of my sight before I call security. God dang it. She won't recognize me in this disguise. <laughs> Dr. Vicky, I need your help. There's a pandemic. Oh, isn't that just convenient? A pandemic, you say? And you just happened to stumble upon me with a renowned doctor who specializes in, let's call it, unique treatments? What exactly do you need my help with? I am infected and I need one of your unique treatments. Please help me, Dr. Vicky. You're the only one. Infected, huh? And you think I can provide some m m miraculous cure? Well, I might have a few tricks up my lab coat coat sleeve, but first I need to know if I can trust you. How do I know you're not just trying to expose my unconventional methods? Dr. Vicky, I believe I have a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> Please treat me right now. Well, well, well. It seems like you're in quite the rush, huh? But I can't just go around treating anyone who stumbles into my lab wearing disguises and fancy lab outfits. Damn it! <laughs> hey! What strange visitor is this? Why aren't you uh, waltzing around with half naked with binoculars in the middle of the night? Explain yourself before I unleash my mighty kung fu. I am here to learn the, from the best of the best. I want to learn kung fu. I want to be under your wings. Teach me, master. Ha ha ha, you seek to learn the ancient art of kung fu? Ah, well, my friend, it takes more than a baseball cap and a set of binoculars to become a true warrior. But if you're truly dedicated, I might consider taking you on as my apprentice. Show me your determination and we shall see. I want to learn how to do backflips and front flips. I want to learn how to do um, uh, a knee twist and, 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 and disarm people. I don't fucking know what I don't know what to say! Ah, uh, my enthusiastic friend, learning Kung Fu is not just about fancy flips and disarming people. It's a journey of discipline, respect, and inner strength, I'm afraid. Give me to here. What is this? Ah, uh, greetings, adventurous soul. What brings you to my humble abode in such splendorous attire? I have come from the trees, from the bushes, from the ground beneath your feet to train under the Kung Fu arts you master impressive dedication young disciple but before i can accept you under my wing i must see your skill show me your might and i shall consider it well i have battled 100 elephants i have fought 50 giraffes i have conquered the skies and the grounds mighty feats indeed my friend but can you withstand the fury of woodrow chops technique Pre prepare yourself for i shall test your metal now thank you master I will be the greatest disciple ever. I will learn your moves. I will take it across the world and spread your word. Bravo, young disciple. Your enthusiasm and dedication have won me over. Come into my dojo and let the training begin. Together we shall conquer the world. Yes, master. Yes. I shall learn. I shall teach you my move. Secret ninjutsu bite. This is not the path of the warrior. <sighs> Yes, yes, yes. Wait, where does, where does hair piece go? Whatever. I got new clothes. That's all that matters, right? right? That's 14 houses out of 31. 14. Who lives here? Well, howdy there. What brings an adventurer like yourself knocking on my door uh, at this ungodly hour need directions to the nearest maple syrup tap? Looks like a lumberjack. Hi, I want to be a lumberjack. I heard you have the best techniques for chopping down trees, and you know everything there is to know about the trees. Well, now you've come to the right place. I've always been swinging an ass since I could walk, and I know these trees like the back of my hand, but before I let you in on the secrets of lumberjacking, I gotta make sure you're serious. How much wood could a woodchuck, if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know the answer, but how much wood can Susie chuck if Susie chucked the wood inside of Susie's chuck? 
Oh, you got a sense of humor. Yeah, I like that. Susie might do some chucking, but when it comes to lumberjacking, we're talking about a whole different kind of wood. Giggity. Let me show you the ropes, eh? Well, have you chopping like a pro in no time. Just don't go chopping down any maple trees. I can't wait to start lumberjacking all over the place. I want to lumberjack here. I want to lumberjack there. I want to lumberjack everywhere. Well, hold your horses there, buddy. I can see the lumberjack spirit burning bright in you. Come on in and let's see you geared up for some serious lumberjacking. I've got... <laughs> oh. You want to chop down my morning wood? This is a real maple bleed, eh? Oh, she was Canadian. Oh, cops, we gotta be careful. We got three stars. That means the cops are everywhere. From house to house, I sneak and sneak. From house to house, I want to eat. I want to bite, I want to fright. I want to take your neck tonight. I want the blood, I want it in. I want the screams of you and your friend. Not, not, not. Oh shit, <laughs> my clothes fell out. Goodness gracious, what in tarnation? Who are you and what in the blue blazes are you doing in my door spit? Stepping the dead of night with a hatchet. Golly, I hope you ain't planning on chopping down any trees around here. I am a beard collector. I'm here to take your beard with this hatchet. Now hold on just a dad burn minute. You ain't taking my beard with no hatchet and other contraption. I don't even know who you are. Get the head out of my property before I call the cops. You damn scrub a dub ram a dam a ding dong. Carol cares. Oh my goodness, someone dressed up in such a cute chef outfit. How delightful. What brings you here at this late hour, my dear? Hi, ma'am. I am a chef that goes from door to door. I want to cook you a delicious meal tonight. Would you accept my meal offer? Oh, isn't that just the sweetest thing? A chef offering to cook for me? How can I resist? But I'm a little cautious about letting strangers aside, you know. Maybe you could tell me more about yourself and your cooking expertise. Well, ever since I was a young person, I remember cooking rats, I cook dogs, I cook cats. It's all delicious. Oh my, that doesn't sound quite right, dear. I'm afraid I won't be able to accept your offer. Take care and have a good day now. Goodbye. God damn you son of a bitch. Well, bless your heart. Look at you. All ready for a late night cleaning. How can I help you? Hi, Um, I record YouTube videos and I want to know if you can allow me to record cleaning up your house. You don't have to be charged. Oh, honey, I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I can't let you record in my house. I'm just too protective of my personal space. But I hope your YouTube channel does well, darling. Hmm, hmm, I can save this. I can save this. Would you be willing to allow me to clean up your house for free? And I won't record it. Well, bless your heart for offering. I'm afraid I can't let strangers clean up my house. I'm just too cautious, you know. But thank you for the kind gesture, sweetie. If I can't come in and clean your house, can you tell me what you like to do for fun around here? Well, I would be delighted to share. Well, when I'm not busy fussing out over everyone, I love tending to my garden and baking sweet treats in the kitchen. And of course, spending quality time with my loved ones. What about you, darling? What do you enjoy doing for fun? Well, I love decorating cakes. Cakes, I make, I make cakes. Cake, cake burgers, cake pasta, everything. I don't fucking know what the hell. Oh, honey, that sounds positively scrumptious. I can just imagine a cake burger with sweet frosting and cake pasta that's perfectly al, al dente. You have such a creative talent, darling. Maybe we can exchange some cake recipes sometimes. You know what? That's a good idea. I think we should uh, exchange some cake recipes right now. I got four recipes that I'm sure you would love. Oh, darling, that sounds fantastic. I would love to exchange cake recipes with you. Why don't you come in? Yes, we're in! We started off failing, but we ended with a bite! Do you have any idea how busy I am? <laughs> Listen, Carol, you invited me in. I didn't invite you in. It was your fault. You shouldn't trust strangers. You shouldn't trust strangers, Carol.